Hello and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today we're doing a deck profile of, of what I think could be all right deck. It's a Numeron Runic deck. So obviously the Numerons, um, Numerons up. yeah, the Numerons stuff, you, you summon the four, four Numerons and then from there you can get to high, high, high attacks and then getting up to number C, um, C, I see you up at 1000, which then can get to, up to 10,000 attack points. And then obviously the runic stuff obviously is great for banishing from your opponent's deck. So that's um, for the initial deck, I've got no monsters whatsoever, which could be handy because obviously it helps stop get a, um, if all these trap cards that I'll be in here that stops affecting you, as, w as well as obviously getting more of the banish stuff and effects and stuff. Alright, so starting with spells, I've got one Glorious Numbers, one Day of Peace, a Lightning Storm, a Raigeki, a Dark Hole, and the Harpy's Feather Duster. Plus one Runic Flashing Fire, and one Runic Stumper. Now the Runic stuff is just my preference, obviously you could have Different one, other ones you can, the bad ones you feel. Obviously, with the new updated banners, you can only have two runic fountains. Also, using two runic golden droplets, two runic freeing curses, one runic destruction. Three of the, the Runic Smiting Storm. I like this one because it, cause it's up to the number of the ones to control, and obviously, if they have a big board, that's great for you. As well as one Terraforming, and then two Books of Eclipse. As well as using three Numeron Chaos Rituals. Two Numeron Colons and three Numeron Network. So that's it for the spells. Moving on to the trap cards. Using a Metaverse, it obviously helps search for your field spells. Got on a num number wall, numbers protection, and gravity bind. Using two, two skill drains, three dimensional prisons, obviously help with the defense, and then two of the band played on. Obviously, you play with a special summon at the same level, so obviously that gets, stops overlaying. So obviously, if they come out to the same level, that obviously doesn't stop link confusion and such. Moving on to the extra deck, obviously, got level one. Two, three, four, as well as number C1, number C1000, and number, uh, number I C1000. That's for XVCs, and then for the fusions, the numeric stuff, which is Gary, the new runic fangs, as well as three, two, three of the oh, freaky of the numeric. Numerant Fangs, one, one, one of the Runic Wings, and then two of the important one of the Huggin of the of the Runic Wings. Obviously, the, the Runics are handy because obviously helps you search and helps you banish. Now, for the side deck, I've just got. Some helpful stuff just to banish. So I've got Cosmic Cyclone, got some more of the Runic, so I've got doing it, the Runic Dispelling, some of the spe this Runic that Slumbers, Dimensional Barrier, Rival Wheel, all those I've got. Primal Wheel being there, that'll be the, literally the only monster which can be handy for, you, for the deck. They can only be, only be one. And then, obviously, as I said, it's only you got two in the deck, but I've got that uh, 
further runic fountain in case it actually becomes unlimited again. So thank you for watching. I um, ho hope you can like and subscribe. Comment below how, what you think of the deck. Could it could be great? Because obviously this is just a concept. I don't know if it's wrong way. Right? It could absolutely cock up completely. But there you go. It's just a concept. It's just an idea. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you like. As I said, I hope you like and subscribe. I've been lightning with a member of the Eyes of Blue, and I'll see you in the next one.